for one reason or another, I was inclined to purchase this little pirate guy. It's an impulse buy. While I was fueling up the RV, this store just pulled me in to buy a knickknack. Welcome everyone, Adam the... Go get your own coffee. This is a non-pillage zone. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. Oh, that's good. This is an interesting looking structure. It's in the shape of a letter. And on the side of the hill behind it is also the letter A. A lot of cows out here. More cows than you can shake a stick at. You never want to shake a stick at a cow. They get very angry. If you take all 50 states in the U.S. and look at the ones that are least populated, the one I am currently cruising westwardly through is number one. The least amount of people live here than any other states. I was reminded of that fact yesterday when I was browsing through the comments section. Not only do I learn things by going out and doing and seeing, but also perusing what you have to say. It's kind of like a mutual teamwork thing. The landscape is not only beautiful out here, but very peaceful. And right at the threshold between Albany and Carbon County is this little cabin said to be the oldest in the world. It was given that name in 1938 by the one and only Robert Ripley. This structure is made up of over 5,000 dinosaur bones. Believe it or not. There was a time when it was the home of a tiny museum, but those days have passed and now it sits desolate and alone. Looking inside the window, relics of the past, or at least of the gift shop. It's safe to say, in a storm, this would probably hold up really well. And what is this supposed to be? Is this a reproduction egg? It was built in 1933 by a family who had a gas station on this site and they wanted to draw people's attention off the road and spend some money. Roadside attractions are fascinating in that sense. It reminds me of Cabazon in California where Claude Bell built the dinosaurs to draw people over to the diner. Next to this fallen tree is an elevation marker. And as I continue across the premises, this sign has fallen saying the geological location of petrified life. At one point, there was something written on the side of this, R-O-L-L-S. Very difficult to make out. However, could this have been where the T-Rex food was kept? Universal gear. Oh no, lubricant. Never mind. Dinosaurs do not eat lubricant. It appears as if someone has busted out the window and you can peer inside. Artwork on the side of the wall, some renditions of that period of time and some trinkets tucked away in these cabinets. I'm not gonna climb in, I'm just standing on this cinder block. It's safe to say the owners lived in that house adjacent to the store. And speaking of houses, here's the one they use the facilities on. They got the pieces to build the cabin from Como Bluff, nicknamed the Dinosaur Graveyard, one of the biggest conglomerations of pieces anywhere in the world. Pretty interesting stuff. Out here basically in the middle of nowhere. I have always been interested in the works and the finds of Mr. Ripley. But I have to wonder, did he stand in the same spot I am? Did he come out here on his own accord and see this with his own eyes? Or did he just name it from afar? It's not something that most likely is going to happen, but I could totally imagine a brontosaurus just crossing this road. I could see it, just meandering across the thoroughfare. The next town over of Medicine Bow prominently displays on the bar sign a cowboy riding one of those creatures, and it looks as if a T-Rex completely destroyed this windmill. Mangled and torn like nobody's business. Gotta love these passing trains. 
adds to the ambiance. The open road, wide angle edition. Listen to the sounds. Shh, don't say anything, just listen. Granted, all you're hearing is the wind coming through the open window, but you get the idea. Shh, shh, continue listening. out here, right? I love it. on the interstate now, I-80, just past the sign that said Continental Divide, elevation 7,000 feet, still heading westbound. For a good portion of my life, I never even considered the thought of traveling in an RV, which makes me wonder, will I one day own a boat? It's too bad there's no Wi-Fi on the ocean because vlogging from the open sea, now that would be an adventure. A couple key points I noticed about this area. No cell phone service. I have AT&T, so if you have that same service provider, prepare to have no bars for multiple hours on end, because that's what I'm dealing with right now, as well as the RV keeps wanting to sway to and fro from lane to lane, because the wind through these planes is incredibly powerful. And I had the bright idea to roll the window down for just a moment, a mile or two back, a gust came through the window and I swear it felt like someone slapped me in the face, like they punched me in the noggin. I don't know if I've ever experienced that before. It was impressive. Most impressive. This trip's been pretty enjoyable so far, I must say. Getting off the grid, if you will, considerably different than my new place in Southern California. But I am heading back to Los Angeles. Make no bones about that. Can you make bones? Bones are produced in a body. But I guess you could make a bone. You make a, like this. This is not a real skull. So I guess you could make a bone to go along with that. I've been looking for a Best Buy to buy some stuff, not only for my camera, but also my laptop. I have not used my laptop this whole road trip because I left my external keyboard because I screwed up something a few months ago on my MacBook. I have it with me, but I haven't been able to use it because I did not bring that other keyboard. So I've been trying to find an equipment store, an electronic store, or a Best Buy, and I haven't found one. I haven't even seen Walmarts, Best Buys, this whole, I've been pretty much out in the middle of you know, no man's land. It's been nice. It's definitely nice to get the fresh air, but at the same time, It'd be nice to find a Starbucks or a Trader Joe's or something of that nature. I like the best of both worlds. I like a healthy mix. Makes you appreciate both sides. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Vlog? I don't know what that is. Vlog? Drum roll, please. And what are those? Chimes? Over.